gonna be stopping off at a restaurant here in town that was featured on Man vs. Food and noted as the very best torta in the world. Holy day, I break these chains. I'm bound for the life of the simple things. To start out the video here, I wanted to give a big thank you to a few people. I want to start off by thanking Adam, Tommy, Gabriel, and Gary. I really appreciate you guys having taken the time and uh, shown the support here by contributing on PayPal. And then in addition, I want to say a big thank you to Susan, Debbie, Javanus, and Rainy C. You guys had gone ahead and signed up on the Patreon page. Yeah, I know it's been a while since uh, I re really made any kind of like vlog, vlog type video. And uh, you're seeing this after I plan on kind of making my comeback to YouTube video. But today, before I head off to work right now, I'm heading to Harbor Freight Tools. I got to pick myself up a watt basically a watt meter I I got a bunch of stuff I want to study about uh, my power draw and everything for content that you're gonna be seeing coming your way okay it is Harbor Freight time now here we are kilowatt so it's gonna be running kilowatts see if there's a smaller setup that I can run in uh, just in watts and uh, also maybe have a 30 amp or 50 amp plug I do not see anything all right that'll be what it is along with my watt meter I went ahead and I got a couple of RV adapters and these may come in handy in the future anyways so I'm gonna be using these adapters here when I get back to the RV to kind of do a series of videos on helping you guys know how to plan for solar and then also for what you should have as far as a battery bank to match your lifestyle the first thing I'm gonna do here with the Kodiak is I'm charging it up it looks like it's completely dead I'm assuming that they ship them completely dead like this on purpose because Lithium ion is technically considered hazmat, so they probably had to discharge it completely and ship discharged. Well, a lot of people were curious to know where I stand as far as my weight loss and everything. And if you look here, I'm sporting 257.4 pounds, which is not crazy good since that's a big slowdown from the success that I was having way back in the day. But that slowdown isn't that much of a slowdown because I basically took a whole month off of my diet and exercise while I was enjoying the holidays. And I had bloomed it back up to 272 pounds. And I've already taken it off and I just started back in to to uh, my routine on the 7th of January. Plus I'm down almost two pounds since the last time I updated anything here on uh, Wanderlust Estate. I'm gonna start updating the challenge. If you get over there and uh, subscribe to that, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. I'm gonna start getting really detailed a lot more about nutrition and, and diet and exercise over there in the next, few days every time I've ever gone into a secondhand store like Goodwill and was checking out electronics I was always worried about purchasing them because I didn't know for sure that they ran now thanks to the energy Kodiak <laughs> that should be changing so I'm gonna go in here and uh, we're gonna do our first testing out I charged it overnight let's go see how healthy it is now okay we got a little quesadilla cooker here these usually takes a good amount of juice so we'll see uh, how she works out I'm gonna fire up the uh... this here's a power generator man so basically right now I'm running this oh yeah yep 
so I can check to make sure that uh, any of the appliances are already working. Oh, you brought that in with you? Yeah. You bastard. <laughs> Forget you then. <laughs> I thought that was here. <laughs> You can see the screen. This thing's pulling 850 watts right now. Over 70 amps. Yeah, and it's getting hot to touch already. Yep, good and hot. This definitely is working. I really didn't see a whole lot that was even in there that was worth bothering with, but I was curious to see how many watts one of those cookers pulled in the first place. And then just to see how the uh, Kodiak did on it, did really well. I could have probably powered it for, you know, I would say 30, 40 minutes. Okay, so I got a busy, busy day today. I got to go source a bunch of stuff for the next video series that I'm going to be coming up with. And then I'm also going to be stopping off at a restaurant here in town that was featured on Man vs. Food and noted as the very best torta in the world. So we'll go see if that's true. <laughs> for my next video series, we're going to be doing some MacGyver sort of stuff. So I'm over here at Granger's Industrial Supply. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be picking up some magnesium welding rod or wire, depending on what's cheaper for me, for that project of videos that I've been talking about. Well, getting that magnesium there was a big fat fail. <laughs> they had uh, the magnesium rods in stock, but they only sold them at minimum in six pound quantities that's a heck of a lot more than i'd need and it runs around 140 dollars which is ridiculous amount to spend for something where i might use an ounce or two since grangers here wanted me to purchase too much i'm hoping that maybe if i stop off at a welding supply a smaller welding supply outfit or a welding shop that maybe they'll uh, go ahead and sell me a small quantity. It's not exactly what I had wanted, but I'm hoping it'll do good enough. So this here is a magnesium fire starter. And so I'm going to be using this. At least it's a form of magnesium for us. Now that I got my magnesium, I got a couple of other items that I need to get that I'm hoping to pick up here at Lowe's and everything. I need to get myself some copper nails. I need to get myself some galvanized nails and some copper wire. So I got my stuff, the remainder of the stuff that I was going to need over here in the Lowe's. And now I'm going to go and try the best torta in the world. Here we are. We're at the famous tortas place. So that's basically a sandwich. And now I'm heading in to go order. So while I'm doing that, why don't you go ahead and check out this clip. My cross country eating quest has brought me to Phoenix, Arizona for the ultimate slider challenge. Boop, boop. But first, I'm hitting up a joint with a name that says it all, Los Reyes de la Torta, kings of the Mexican sandwich. I'm in the Sunny Slope neighborhood of North Phoenix at Los Reyes de la Torta, a Mexican restaurant that's become famous for the wide variety of delicious Mexican sandwiches known as tortas. Opened in 2001, Los Reyes is a mouthwatering destination for Mexico's most popular sandwich. I am an Arizona native. I'm actually from Tucson, so we drove all the way from Tucson to come up here to eat these tortas. Just for these tortas? Just for these tortas. And according to locals, Los Reyes doesn't just offer the tastiest tortas, they also have the biggest. I'm pretty sure it was this one right here, the Lorena. And it looks like our price on that is $9 for the mini, $11.25 for the bigger one. I'm not sure what's what, and I can always take some home. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the bigger one since it is my cheat day today. All right, guys, this looks so good. I'm ready to dig in now. Wish you could share with me. Really good. Woo. About ready 
to tap out. This is some good grub though. I'm just getting full. Just before I leave here, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, show you the restaurant. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, it's guys. Been a long day without you, my friend. And I tell you all about it when I see you again. We come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, when I see you again.